Hey, welcome back to JazzTime. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. And if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate it if you purchase your next watch from us at JazzTime.com. Today we'll be talking about the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak with a nickel gray Grand Tapisserie dial, all rose gold construction, case and bracelet. Reference number, 15450OR.00.12560R.01. Dot 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 we'll be going over the case, the bezel, dial, the crown functions, as well as the movement and the bracelet. And I'll be giving you my thoughts on all of these throughout the video. But first, we'll be doing a pseudo unboxing. What does that mean? That's basically just removing the stickers from the bracelet. Now, this is a discontinued model, so you'll get to live vicariously through this video. All right, if you have not actually been able to experience one of these yourself, this is what it will be like. If my camera will focus. All right, there we go. Now, removing factory stickers, it's uh, a little bit tougher. There's definitely a pull on them, all right, as you try to remove them. And just sort of trying to remove all right there we go and that's basically all there is for the pseudo unboxing all right now anyway on to this case here now we have a 37 millimeter that makes this a mid-size a very good size actual royal oak watch from finger to thumb that's 37 millimeters the thickness 9.8 millimeters all right, just under 10 millimeters in thickness with a scratch resistant sapphire crystal on the front and on the back as well for that exhibition case back. All, right, all of this giving you uh, approximately 50 meters of water resistance. Again, entirely rose gold construction, brush finishing along the sides as well as brush finishing vertically along the top, as you can see from the lugs on the case front all the way down to the lugs at the very bottom. All right, you also still have matching brush finishing along the side of this case here as well. No crown guards, but not really necessary. Okay, and you have this winding crown again also in pink gold, all right? All 18 carats, so quite a hefty little chunker here. All right, now looking at this bezel, we have, well, basically what you would expect from Audemars Piguet, the Royal Oak, a nice high polish on the first bevel of this bezel with a brush finishing going all the way around. All right, very, very thin little sliver just before that rubber gasket that keeps the water resistance of this watch up. All right, and on the front we have, again, vertical satin finishing on the front of this bezel as well with all of the hexagonal screws, eight of them in total, going around this watch with their slots facing in such a way that you have that gestalt visual principle of closure in which they all sort of connect with each other to create this full and complete circle without actually having to draw it physically on there for you. The outer edges rounded octagonal with the inside being a perfect circle. All right. And also let me mention here on the case, we also have a high polished little accent on the edges of this case here, giving it a very nice distinctive look, very nice touch from Audemars Piguet there. All right, now moving into this dial, we have what is called the nickel or gray nickel, or what, what do they call it? The nickel gray grand tapisserie pattern dial. So I take issue with calling it nickel gray because it's more a silver, almost a white-ish, an almost off-white tone. And my, my camera monitor is actually picking up quite nicely here. All right, so if you refer to this on the website, it is a discontinued model, so you will have to actually plug in the model number directly in order to find it, but they do call it a nickel gray, and it does have like this, almost a, a shade of gray on their uh, website photos, but in person, it's much brighter, and it, you could also call it white or silver. Either way, it's incredibly bright compared to what they show on their website. Now, when we call this a Grand Tapisserie pattern dial, uh, that's basically these raised squares, but not just raised squares. They also have these guilloche patterning, these concentric little lines sort of uh, carved into 
these squares to make this sort of, sort of a silver sun ray pattern, as you can see, almost like a sunburst type of pattern, as you can see it playing in the light uh, of my light box here. All right, so very subtle, but incredibly effective when it comes to the overall presentation here. And when it comes to this presentation, you have a cohesive presentation with these index hour marks, with the matching royal oak hands, all of these sort of uh, baguette style look to these index hour marks. And speaking of which, I can actually turn out the lights here. And you can see the luminescence, very bright actually. My camera's having a tough time focusing because it is a low light situation. All right, so very, very bright actually. Uh, not quite clipping my highlights, but still very easy to read nonetheless. All right, the hours and minutes hands uh, fully loomed as well as the index hour markers. And you can also look at the three o'clock position we also have a very, very tiny index hour mark for the three o'clock, even though the date after is taking up most of that space, all right? We'll get into why that is in just a moment, but taking a look at this, overall very cohesive in its appearance, just a kind of a really interesting design decision, but that's part of why, what makes this kind of a, an interesting model, all right? Now, taking a look at the functions of this crown here, it works as you would expect. Simply unwind the crown at the three o'clock position to the first position. This allows you to wind the watch, all right? Rather simple. If you're at a dead stop, 20 to 30 full winds is all you need to get it up to its full power reserve, all right? No issue there. We also have uh, the second position. Pull out to the second position and you can actually advance the date at the date aperture by rotating it. It's about a quarter turn, all right? Let me move the minute hand out of the way there for you. Right, so it's about a quarter turn to advance the date by one. So if you find yourself a time traveler, you can just wind it really fast and no issue there. All right, now if you find yourself on the 30th of a month, just wait until the next day and just flip it once and you'll be on the first of the next month. No issue there, no need to mess with the time or the, the minutes or the hours of the watch. All right, rather simple there. Pull the crown out to the final position. Note that the seconds hand has actually stopped, giving you that hacking function. So you can then adjust the minute hand precisely, depending on where that seconds hand is. Adjust it to an atomic clock and just press it in when you're ready. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. Wind the crown tightly back against the case to ensure that superior water resistance, 50 meters, all right? And that basically means I probably wouldn't want to take this uh, down to the maximum 50 meters below sea level. I would personally just take this, you know, surface swimmable. swimmable. You could probably take a shower with it, but not really much more than that. You can probably take it to the pool just for a quick dip, but that's about it. All right, so anyway, what makes all of this work on the inside? It's the self-winding manufacturer caliber 3120, as you can see through the exhibition case back here. All right, very nice patterning, the uh, Genève patterning there with the 22 karat gold rotor with the Audemars and Piguet uh, coat of arms there. All right, and also taking a look at this case back, we also do have uh, a high polish on that first bevel, very much matching that of the bezel, and also the screws that go all the way through the case. Uh, this is how you would dismantle the watch to do maintenance for it. And also a circular brush finishing along the back with these hallmarks on the back of the case to show you that you are indeed dealing with precious metals, in this case, uh, pink gold in its entire construction. All right, so here's the movement uh, beating away at a vibration frequency of 21,600 vibrations per hour or three hertz. That means basically six little ticks per second within that second's hand, still nice and precise. It has a total diameter of 26.6 .6 millimeters. So that means it's not quite enough to fill in this entire uh, diameter because this is a 37 millimeter case with a 26.6 .6 millimeter diameter, a, a total of about 10 millimeters in difference. That means the date aperture can't actually fit all the way to the end, it can't actually fill in that entire space there. That's basically as far as it goes. So that means that they need to fill in that tiny little bit of space uh, with that three o'clock index hour marker. So that's why that's there. At least it's a really good reason as to why that's there. All right, it has 40 joules and has a total number of 280 parts all inside there. All right, 
all of that, bring you a 60 hour power reserve. That basically means you can set this down uh, for about two and a half days. You can pick it back up again later uh, on a Monday morning. You can set down Friday evening, pick it back up Monday morning, no need to wind the watch. Or if you really need to, you still can, all right? All very good and well there. Now taking a look at what we have here for the framing, we have what is known as the integrated bracelet. Also pink gold to fit that of the case, all right? Nice uh, accent, uh, continuation of that accent, that high polish along the edge of the bracelet, uh, along the edge of the case, continuing onto this bracelet. Very seamless in its overall appearance and feel. You can't really feel uh, the edges here. It's so well engineered, all right? Uh, satin brush finishing along the front with a high polish in between these links here to give them sort of that glowing look all right to further show you that these are indeed separate pieces all hand finished all right incredibly well done from Audemars Piguet going down to the clasp here we have the double deployment clasp meaning that you have two buttons no way to undo this unhinge it or unclasp it without pressing these two in simultaneously you press them in and it releases all right, I'm trying to do this carefully, All right? It releases and opens up with the double deployment system there, as you can see. And while we're here, I can actually try on the watch, give you my thoughts as to how it wears, All right? So when you have this on your wrist, let me just demonstrate here. You want to clasp the top portion first and then the bottom portion, which has the Auto RPG logo. The logo goes on top there, All right? All right, and now looking at it on the wrist, very comfortable, extremely uh, soft to the touch on the wrist. My wrist measures 18 centimeters or seven inches in circumference. So currently as it is incredibly balanced in terms of its uh, weight distribution here, the gold case with the counterbalance of the uh, bracelet here just fits very nicely. Very perfect, perfectly centered center of balance there. At just under 10 millimeters in thickness, it slides very easily under any jacket cuff or even a suit cuff. So this doubles very well as a luxury, as well as a dress, or even sports watch, should you, you know, desire to take this out on a jog or anything, because the bracelet gives you that added benefit of extra breathability. All the spaces among these links makes it so that it wicks away sweat and lets your wrist breathe very easily, much better than say the, the leather strap that uh, I reviewed this model on earlier. Um, if you get this with the bracelet, uh, with this model, you get that added benefit of that breathability. So certainly a very good benefit there. And again, we have a very good overall form here on the wrist looking down. We have a little bit of space underneath the lugs here. If you have a wrist larger than mine, you probably won't have that much space under this lug, all right? But the added space does give you uh, more breathability under the wrist. No, uh, no con there, all pros, okay? All right, and when it comes to the overall look and the overall appearance of this watch, the white dial, I'm gonna call it a white dial, even though they call it a, what is it, silvered nickel or gray nickel dial, it's a white dial, all right? The other, the only other option you have is a black dial with this uh, gold construction, but I much prefer this white dial. It just sort of shines forth much better. It doesn't sink or recess itself into the wrist as much. And you have more of that wrist presence in terms of the overall appearance, the aesthetics, not so much the size, because this is, again, a 37 millimeter watch. It wears a bit smaller than what you would expect. And, you know, like I personally prefer 36 millimeter models, but, you know, at 37, I can forgive that extra millimeter because I do, get, I do still get an excellent framing of the case from this bracelet, all right? And overall, it just fits my wrist, at least a seven inch wrist, very nicely, very comfortably, and overall a very good size, okay? And again, the presentation here, very easy to read with, it doesn't matter what you wear really, uh, anything light, this will blend in very nicely. If you wear anything dark with this, this will stand out handsomely, all right? That's about all I have for you. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. And if you'd like to purchase this watch, you can go to our website, jazztime.com. Links in the description below. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that subscription button if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you have any thoughts, questions, leave them down in the comments, or even better, 
just hit that buy now button on our website, secure your copy of this, uh, this Audemars Piguet Royal Oak in 37 millimeters, completely pink gold, rose gold. Keep in mind that this is a discontinued model. So uh, you can get it from us at jazztime.com. Rather nice and easy. No issue there. All right. Hit that buy now button and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.